Welcome back guys, um, I just wanted to update, um, I finished with that batch, changed the tarp and um, basically put the final product right here. So it's good, I can still see bugs and everything so I just needed to protect it from the rain. Um, I've been sick and uh, other problems and I uh, couldn't have time to update so I have we had um, Sally uh, Hurricane Sally so we still have some debris there and debris there and some here and here and here so um, I'm slowly digesting them. I cannot put these um, branches and leaves as it is. So um, I have the chipper shredder, earthwise or whatever, but it does not shred the leaves that well. It just, um, it's really hard. It has two little holes. You only uh, stick in there uh, little branches like this and it does pretty good as grinding those basically. And I have the uh, Black & Decker vacuum shredder. It does the leaves, but doesn't do the little sticks. So, and doesn't do the leaves as well as I wanted to. And I had some problem with that one because I put a whole bunch of sticks, uh, you know, thicker than these. And it's really hard to uh, digest them like this. I mean, you can break it maybe, but so while I was sick and uh, just designed something, this is sold, uh, I think the good version of it, it's called Works W-O-R-X uh, Shredder, Leaf Shredder. It has one, um, basically a um, string trimmer, just like I have one over here, uh, but I made two. And, um, the bottom one is the original version I uh, I implemented these the, these things just take like five seconds <laughs> whatever on the lathe so and I milled it these two holes and then you can squeeze the uh, string trim line whatever um, and boom you got it and it works pretty good but not as good as I wanted to so next I tried I tried this thing once <laughs> scared the crap out of me so this is quarter inch thick steel I weld it to a similar shaft that I made for that one but it's out of a 836 hot roll steel aka I call it Home Depot shit steel it's just you know terrible <laughs> but you know welds and all that stuff and uh, I and these blades which blends into the the steel screwed in because uh, these are 1095 high, car high carbon steel and uh, I uh, you know ground them harden them and uh, temper them so it's, they're not as brittle but they're deadly <laughs> Also, you know, both sides. The reason I did not uh, weld these is uh, the base metal, again, 836 Home Depot shit metal, was low carbon. This is high carbon. So it's dissimilar metals. And uh, this thing is going to rotate 6,000 RPM. And uh, you don't want weld cracking because you may end up not making to the ER. <laughs> so I run this one, and since it's heavy, it takes a while for it to turn on with the electric motors I have, 24 volts. And I am powering them with this uh, Meanwell 24 volt, 10 amp, um, you know, power supply. Just You just put AC through here and then you get the DC 24 volts. This thing was like 50 bucks or something. I got it when I needed to, well, when I wanted to build a uh, uh, surface grinder, which I did, 
but you know it's it's really hard to get good surface finish um, on materials that I want so it was worthless basically I mean it did work but yeah so next thing I tried after that that thick one oh yeah we got ducks and fighting anyway well what it is is um, Ryobi has plastic blades attachment uh, just like this it swivels and um, they're like serrated looking plastic just as long as this well a little shorter than this but um, I use that to grind these I mean you can't see that's like uh, it's pretty pretty fine as opposed to those you know as opposed to you know turned into the, this into that which is very easy to digest you can see that like it is uh, I mean ready to compost so add uh, you know nitrogen and uh, do something you know add the chicken feed and um, so that thing worked well but I was like okay well uh, the heavy one out of metal was too heavy that thing the other one the Ryobi one it wears out pretty quickly and this actually I made it for the Ryobi one and put these I should have brought those blades and then yeah you know I did the whole thing it wore out so then um, I said well I still got that 1095 steel I might as well just do a narrow not too heavy one and then it swivels at startup because it rotates this way and then when it swivels I put these uh, rubber things so it bumps on it instead of bumping to the steel it shouldn't shatter but because you can see the um, yeah, I mean it's it is pretty sharp anyway what the heck is that okay so <coughs> so these swivel I put these little fiberglass washers because that um, Ryobi tips plastic ones was kind of uh, 60 70 thousand thicker than these this is quarter inch so it was a uh, um, three sixteens or whatever no five sixteens yeah anyway so um, and then screw this top plate into this shaft which is welded to the bottom plate and I have these columns indexes the uh, holes on this top as well as the blade so it keeps the blade in there and then it doesn't it's flush with this and this is about 70,000 thickness it should not you know break and those columns are also welded in there you can see maybe you can I don't know okay so the deal is these are two brushless uh, brushed uh, motors uh, shaft up the other one shaft down which has a string string trimmer one which I may need to be replaced uh, no actually that's that's okay so Home Depot buckets three of them riveted two of them back to back and this one I cut it um, I also made this and attached it with silicone temporarily to the top let me just put this back on so this goes on like this and then I have these springs to put them in place so it does not go anywhere but it's not gonna stop from that blade when it's detached uh, oh this it will go through this so I'm trying to find a safer way to maybe put something around it some steel or or maybe one and two sides build something like this and I only work on that side of it and uh, when there's no kids around which there isn't now so okay the deal is when the top one turns it does um, cause a swirl uh, counterclockwise coming up and because of the centrifugal force all the debris you know all the that cloud is on the surface of the circle 
So by putting this little cyclone thing, not cyclone, but um, that thing will not come out. But <laughs> I just this is just a cardboard kind of thing, and uh, I was just banging it too much, so it came off from the silicone. I'm gonna find a better way of doing it because this thing worked perfect. You know, it did not. Nothing came out, especially when it's dry. You chop these things up. There's lots of um, um, dust and whatever tiny particles, light particles, just spewing out of it like this. So this stops that perfectly. And uh, I bought another bucket and a lid, so I will uh, modify that one, the lid, the lid, to uh, make it work with this. So also in order to prevent um you know not prevent but in decrease the amount of uh, crap going directly into the uh, shaft of the motor i put this thing so when you put it on it just distributes to the sides where the actual cutting pieces are so this 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 uh, decreases the amount of uh, debris getting into the motor shaft and because of the gravity the upside down one on the bottom it's not a concern so <coughs> another thing when this runs um, it does you know same thing because it rotates this way uh, let's see no it rotates this way because it's upside down it causes swirl you know the, the cut stuff like this how fine it is these used to be leaves so but it it just spews it out along the sides so it doesn't so i'm thinking about maybe making something here to prevent it from like scattering it everywhere or make some kind of stand that would um you know we can put it on the wheelbarrow barrel whatever but as you can see we had rain today that's why i'm not chopping things up i already chopped this up and i don't want to do that because i'm kind of scared of this still so <laughs> it works i mean i did chop some stuff let's see i did chop some stuff uh, so you can see these were like a big this was a big piece of big stick and it chopped it up real good in smaller pieces and since it's hardened you cannot tell anything and it's still deadly sharp that's what I'm scared of <laughs> this one too so when it starts the inertia will push these back because it's rotating that way and that rubber thing Will prevent and then as the speed stabilizes these open up because of the again centrifugal force and then they start chopping and then when they chop and if it they they come across something hard they can just let it go by swinging backwards so it works pretty good i mean i can run it real quick and turn it off I don't know if it's open. Let's see. Live death. Yeah. You don't want to be in the receiving end of that. It's terrible. For the leaves and <laughs> sticks. I try to put this up and yeah. I need to do something better looks like a switchblade or whatever but you know well the temper color I try to temper it a little bit light like a little softer because uh, I mean this is actually should have been a little bit softer it should bleed into that uh, dark brown purple but um, if it was lighter than this and if I, if I put something hard in there like another steel it could shatter it could still shatter that's why <laughs> i want to build something around this this and i only work on that side so 
I got really good test candidates over here. Um, these would be perfect to chop up. But again, the problem I had with the, this one finished over here, I tried to chop these up and then it didn't chop that well with the existing stuff. And there were a bunch of stuff like this and it takes forever to um, decompose. Leaves are fine. You know, if I can separate the leaves, that would be fine. But again, you know, and I have saved some, you know, sticks like this. I just don't want those to be in. So these would be prime candidates to try try to you know work through with that new design of blade but um, we'll see all right well um, about the temperature sensor array or whatever temperature sensor monitoring system I got everything ready boards are gone uh, you know came in and I'm I do I'm doing it one by one and uh, I only do it two sensors uh, I'll slowly build those up because I had to work and I've been sick and all kinds of craziness so but I'll update those uh, and then uh, I'll let you know all right thank you guys